Welcome everybody to a CUDA worksheet tutorial. We're doing kites and trapezoids for all our geometry students today. Now you're probably wondering, well, this doesn't look like a CUDA worksheet tutorial. And that's because there really aren't any uh, CUDA worksheets on this. But this is the one of the first ones that come up. So I'm guessing some of your teachers uh, like me that are looking for uh, quick and easy worksheets to get your class started with are gonna print off this one. So that's what I would do. Um, and I'm guessing some of your teachers are gonna do the same thing. So let's go ahead and work through this. We're gonna talk about kites and trapezoids. Now we're gonna discover some of the properties as we do these problems. So this first one is simply asking for the perimeter. The perimeter is gonna be the sum of all the sides of this kite. This is clearly a kite. A kite is defined as uh, a quadrilateral with no pairs of parallel sides. So these, none of these sides are parallel. And then uh, we have consecutive sides that are congruent. Uh, essentially what that means is we have two sides right next to each other that are gonna be congruent to each other. So the, as the arrows indicate, those are the sides that are congruent. Um, and then we just go off appearances here. Um, another way to look at it or consider it is that we have two isosceles traps, or sorry, isosceles triangles. So this side's also gonna be 12. That's the ugliest two I've ever written. And then we have 20, 20. So we just need to add 20 plus 20 plus 12, plus 12. That's 40 plus 24, and that is equal to 64 units, whatever these units are gonna be. Wow, really struggling with uh, even numbers. There we go, 64 units. Okay, here we go. Next thing about kites. One of the special properties about kites is that their diagonals, okay, oops, a little too fat. Let me thin it up a little bit. They're at, their diagonals are perpendicular. So let's go ahead and write, write that in. This is gonna be a 90 degree angle. And I think it's looking for X and Y, which are angles. That doesn't look like 18 degrees, but we're just gonna have to go uh, take its word for it. Now, how do we figure this out? Well, we have a triangle here. Let me make this in orange. Okay, so we have this little right triangle because we know the diagonals are perpendicular. So we know that this angle X is the same over here. So these two X's are the same. This is bisected, okay? Just like an isosceles uh, triangle would be bisected like that if you drew an altitude, uh, an angle, uh, a, a line connecting its vertex to the midpoint of the side. Um, same thing for the kite. So we know that 18 plus 90 plus X is gonna be equal to 180 degrees. So we just solve for X. This is 108 plus X equals 180, subtract 108, subtract 108, and we get X equals 72 degrees. So we have found our first one. This is 72 degrees, all right? Now we have to find um, Y. So we know this is 90 again. All four of these intersections are 90. And if this is 29, right here, that makes this one 29. Okay, these angles are not the same though. Again, we have to consider this big isosceles triangle. So that's 29, so we have 29 plus 90 plus Y equals 180. Gonna be a little bit different this time. We have 119 plus Y equals 180. We're gonna subtract 119 from both sides. All right, so then we just get our final answer. We get 180 minus 119. That gives us 61, y equals 61 degrees. And that's it, that's all there is to it. And that's pretty much the, the principles of solving for all the angles of a kite. Isosceles trapezoid, we've talked about this in another video for a CUDA worksheet tutorial. Um, fairly simple here. Isosceles trapezoids have the principle where the base angles are gonna be the same. So this is x over here. And then the other base angles, the top base angles are the same. So y is gonna be equal to 128 and then they're supplementary. So we just subtract from uh, uh, 180. So let me just write this out. X plus 128 is gonna be equal to 180. So after we subtract uh, 128 from both sides, we get 52 degrees for X, Y is 128. And if you wanna see more on that, there's another video I have, so check that out. Kite's perimeter equals 86. We have to solve for X and Y, and this is a good problem. First thing you should write is that this is gonna be equal to this, so that's 3y, and this is gonna be equal to that, that's 6y minus two. So we know that 
3y plus 3y um, plus 6y minus 2 plus 6y minus 2 is all going to be equal to the perimeter, which is 86. Okay, 86 is right there. So I'm going to solve for y first, and then I'm going to worry about x later. Okay. All right. Now, uh, when I do this, I'm going to combine uh, like terms here. So I have 6y, uh, actually more than that. I have 6y here, and then I have plus another 6y, that's 12y, plus another 6y, that's 18y. So I have 18y, and then I have a minus 2, minus 2, that means minus 4 equals 86. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. I'm going to get 90 equals 18y. I'm going to divide both sides by 18. Let me write that out. And I get y equals 5. So y equals 5. But now I need to uh, go through x. Now, this one's not too bad either. One of the other properties about, uh, well, it's, it's basically all based on um, isosceles triangle. So if we know these are congruent legs, and this is our uh, altitude splitting them, we know that these are congruent segments. So we know that 5x minus 15 is going to be equal to 2x plus 3. So we just set them equal to each other and then solve. Always move the x's first. We get 3x minus 15 uh, equals 3. We're going to add 15 to both sides. We get 3, 15, 3x, oh my gosh, 3x equals 18, divide by 3, divide by 3, and we get x equals 6. And that's how you do this problem. All right, now, uh, just ask for X and, X and Y. If you're looking for the specific lengths, you'd plug it in. So this would be 15 units if you were to plug in Y. And then this part would be, was that 30 minus 15? That'd be 15 units. So 15, 15, interesting. Isosceles trapezoid perimeter. Um, I want to go to more of the kite ones. Okay, so if you want to see more on isosceles trapezoid, um, check out the other Akuta worksheet uh, videos I have. But... It's essentially the same thing we've been doing with perimeter. Just add them all up, to this, uh, knowing that this 7x is the uh, same here and that these add up to 180. That's the key to this problem. Um, this one, this is going to be the same thing. So you do this plus 2x plus 37 is going to be equal to the perimeter 85. All right, here we go. Kite problem. Kite problems are pretty good here. So... This y is going to be the same thing, 146. You're always going to have two congruent angles with kites. Um, and that's just because of the nature of kites that we split it up, as I've said, like six times already into two isosceles triangles. So that means we're going to have two opposite angles that are going to be congruent. In this case, it's uh, 146, 146. So how do we find angle x? Well, we're going to do 47 plus 146 plus 146, plus x, and what does that need to add up to? Because it's a four-sided shape, one, two, three, four, it's going to be equal to 360. So now we just simply combine like terms, which is the, the numbers, 146 plus 146 plus 47. This all adds up to 339, and then plus x equals 360. We're going to subtract that, obviously, from both sides. And we will solve for x this way. So we get x equals 21. I didn't even realize, oh, we already found y. y is 146 because it's the same as its opposite angle. Let's go to another kite. Uh, same thing here for a trapezoid. These are going to be supplementary. Add these together to get equal 180. See my other video? Sorry, not to just uh, punt the football over to my other video, but it's fairly decent. All right, um, we have here, this one's kind of tough to see, but I think this is uh, the 4x minus 3, so this means this is 4x minus 3 over here. And the property of kites is that it's uh, perpendicular diagonals. So we're going to go 41 plus 4x minus 3 plus 90 is going to be equal to 180. I'll use uh, this green to solve. We're going to combine these first and this. So we have 41 minus 3 is 39, and then 129 plus 4x equals 180. 
129 subtracted from 180 gives us 51. Divided by four. I don't know if that is divisible by four. Let me just check my math again. So we had 41 minus three is not, my goodness. I think it's 128. So then we get 50 divided by four. Isn't that right? 50 divided by four? No, we should get 52. Yeah, it's 52. Sorry. So what happens when you try to go too fast? That's good. Good to check your answers. Take your time. 180 minus 128 should be 52. It is. And we have 52 divided by four. Okay, and we get 13. X equals 13. All right, find our first one. We have 13 there. Um, and then we have a very similar process to find Y. This is like our other problem, so I'm not going to spend too much time. We have 59 plus 90 plus Y equals 180. And we just subtract those from 180. 180 minus 59 minus 90, and we get 31. Don't forget it's degrees. Isosceles trapezoids, we are pretty familiar in how to do this. These are congruent, so just make sure that this is x minus 4 over here. Add these all together. Here we go. We have some tough problems here. This one's like this, the same one we've been doing with the kites. Don't forget this is 90. Um, so 180 minus 41 minus 90. Uh, you should get 49 here for y. And then you have 180 minus 90 minus 78. You should get x equals 12. Okay. For this one over here, it looks like it's a little tougher. You first need to do uh, make sure that this is 137 because these two angles are congruent based on the principles of kite. Um, 22 is not congruent to x. That's a common mistake I see. Let me make sure this is degrees. Okay. So then we do 360 because there's all three, all four angles need to add up to 360 here. It's not a triangle. Minus 137, minus 137, minus 22 is going to be equal to x. Minus 137, minus 137, minus 22. So we get x equals 64. And then this is a cool problem because we have to um, find y also. When this isosceles trapezoid, what makes it isosceles? It has two congruent legs. So then we do, um, this is 137 also. And... Um, well, I guess you don't, it doesn't really matter that it's isosceles because we know that these two angles I'm going to hop out to highlight 137 and Y are supplementary because of these parallel lines here. So we have 137 plus Y equals 180 and we just solve for Y. So 180 minus 137 and we get 43 degrees. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you want more uh, trapezoid help, there's another video for that. Uh, until then, see you next time.